Hi, in this video I'm going to explain what a day-night sensor switch is and I have another video explaining how to install one. Alright, so this is what one of them looks like and to give you an idea of what some other ones look like, take a look at these. Okay, so here's a day-night switch. You can see the format. There's the bracket for putting on the wall. There's the wires coming in and there's a lux adjustment to adjust the brightness that it will activate on and you can see the clear cap so that the light can penetrate through right here we have a two-in-one now this is a motion detector this is called a PIR and uh, which means passive infrared uh, detector and uh, we have a day-night switch built in here so often you see this which offers the uh, detection of people but also the day night it will uh, activate your floodlight in the night but then and it'll also switch on only when there's people walking by so that's a two-in-one and then here's the format again with the bracket for installing on the wall and then there's where the light would be uh, would be uh, having uh, an effect on you see that it's clear so the light rays can come in there and there's the three wires and then here's another one uh, it says they're in and out so this looks almost like a homemade one uh, but again the same principle you see there's the light detect uh, um, the, the sensor that looks like an LDR a light detecting resistor and then uh, there's a different format as you can see the casing is more square now uh, doing the same thing and there's also a different one more of a narrow uh, one look, looking uh, also with the same format of the uh, wall a fixing point and then the cable would go in there and let's see there's one more also similar format there's the three wires okay right so getting back to the one in question this is i'll just show you what it uh, looks like in, in my hand there you go this is what it uh, it looks like here you just squeeze these two and you insert it in like that and then there come the uh, cement screws these wall plugs and screws it so it'll sit like that all right so how does it work what does it do all right so the first thing is you will need to open this thing up And what you'll see is a terminal block and on the terminal block it says live neutral load right so what does that mean and how do you wire this thing up right so the principle of operation and how you connect it up is as follows uh, you can see there's your neutral and live coming from your db board or your circuit breaker and then it would be fed into your light maybe it's a lamp or a floodlight whatever it is and you'd have a switch just a normal manual switch and if you look at the back of the switch you'll see there's only two terminal spaces there live and live make sure you understand that it's live and live what you're doing is just breaking the current here see the current would come through here and the switch is open so there'd be no current but if the switch is closed the current would come through here and back to the supply allowing current to flow and energize that light see because the switch is then closed so if I just bring my multimeter and I show you I put it on continuity continuity means short circuit for example if here is a screwdriver and you see if I touch it on the screwdriver you can see it's a short circuit now what happens is if you come to the switch um, there we go and I put it there and there you can see I'm allowing the current to flow and then when I uh, depress it I switch it off current can no longer flow switch it back on the current flow so there you see the action of this manual switch you you close the switch current can flow energize the light and you open the switch stops the current and no current can flow so what does the day night switch do well this is automatic it means that based on the sunlight or uh, if there's a lamp shining on it because that sometimes does happen that's one of the reasons why the placement of this is very important because if you install a floodlight and the floodlight shines onto the day night switch well then you've got a problem so what you want to do is you'll install your day night switch somewhere out of the um, direct uh, radiation of this light you'll put it kind of maybe under a part where this light doesn't shine on okay so this is what happens here it's still a switch it's still a switch it's just that it's automatic it's got a relay now I'm gonna open this up and show you what's inside here so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about right so I've opened it up and now you can see what is inside of a day night switch 
that's this the relay the relay is a switch that closes a circuit but using another circuit's energy to uh, um, actuate it so it means using energy from another circuit we can close to contact and allow energy to flow into another circuit so that's what a relay is and usually it's got an amperage well it's always got an amperage and this standout switch is 25 amps now what is actuating or closing this relay it is the sensitivity of this LDR this is a light dependent resistor now not all day night switches use this technology what this means is that this resistor if you look at it it looks like this and its sensitivity or resistance depends on how much sunlight is acting on the uh, resistor body there so the higher the uh, sunlight the the lower the resistance and as the sunlight gets lower the resistance actually increases so what happens here is the resistance value which me which translates to mean the lower the current here which translates to mean it changes the current because v v is equal to i times r so resistance is inversely proportional to current because if i put current there you will see that R is inversely proportional to the current. So as we, as we increase the resistance, we'll decrease the uh, current. So what happens is by changing the current, we can use a transistor of some sort, some switching device here. There's a, uh, looks like a, a transistor over there, surface mine. Then what happens is it activates the uh, relay. So it is light dependent. Now you might also use something called a photodiode which looks like a high bright LED but it's not it is a uh, diode that is also dependent on sunlight or radiation so that also changes its PN junction characteristic or basically its resistance based on the light so sometimes you might see that in your um, day and night switch and sometimes you might see the light dependent resistor and on other ones you might even see a light dependent transistor which will look like that but on the top there'll be like a glass screen which has something that looks similar to that on the top and what happens is it also changes the resistance based on the light okay so you've seen inside the day night switch and you can see that there are three terminals here it says live neutral and then load so coming back to our diagram you can see I've got a live then we have to have a neutral now I'm going to move that and then a live and you see this one says live for the load so what is happening here is that this day night switch needs energy to work you can see there's an electric circuit there so it actually needs a connection to the neutral to power it up so now that you've given it a neutral connection remember see here's the neutral it's the same wire I'm not shorting anything out that's on the terminal there forget about that one and now it's got a live and a neutral so that will allow this uh, little circuit here to operate there's the live and the neutral and it'll operate now what is this L load well that's the switch part it'll only close this live onto that live when the little circuit inside the um, day night switch the, the circuit inside here is ready to uh, activate and it'll close this contact which is in the relay allowing current to flow like this through the switch and back like that allowing your light your, your um, floodlight or lamp to go on so it's using the sunlight or um, other radiation device mostly sunlight when the sunlight gets less or it's getting dark you know towards dusk or late in the afternoon you find that this resistor then changes its value allowing this relay to activate and to close that switch so that's what's happening inside that relay it is now it is a magnetically activated switch based on the circuit here which will then close the contacts and allow current to flow so that is why a day night switch has three terminals live one neutral 
and then live for the load. So the live one and the load is the same as that. That would be the live one and that would be for the load. And then you close and open the switch as needed. But remember that this thing is an electronic circuit, so that's why it needs a neutral. So the only difference between this and this is that there's a neutral connection and that this works automatically. And if you have a fairly good day night switch, then you might be able to even adjust the lux. What is the lux? Well, that is the amount of lumens which it needs to activate, meaning lower lumens means this thing will activate only when it is getting very dark. Higher lumens means it will activate already, you know, maybe when it's still quite, uh, maybe at like, it's like dusk and not very dark. So you can, on some of the day night switches, you'll see there's a little pot there and you can adjust at what uh, brightness in the day it must activate the day night switch. So that is the principle of operation of the day night switch. And if you want to see how to install one, please watch my video on how to install a day night switch. Thanks for watching. Cheers.